Okay, Sunday morning. Um, very quick update. Had a renal consultant meeting on Friday. My kidney function has stayed at 24% now for about 12 months, so that seems to be stable. However, my uh, protein in my urine was originally 398, and that's now down to 125. The surprising thing is, I'm eating 300 to 350 grams of carbs a day, sorry, of protein a day, which really, in renal terms, is a big, big no-no. Uh, but it seems to be having actually a positive effect, not a negative effect. Definitely in the amount of protein leakage I'm currently experiencing anyway. But what was more interesting, now I've been through five renal consultants since I was diagnosed. The original one that diagnosed me, the two when I was admitted to hospital, and then the two that now manage my current renal issues. And... Um, I've spoke to them all at some point in some way about steroids and their effect on the kidneys. And they've all said, nah. Except this one. We got talking about it. And she said she's seen a big increase in younger men coming through the clinic with renal problems. And men that, though she can't for definite say they use because not all admit it, they definitely train. Um... And she's convinced, and her exact words were, she has no doubt that steroids have a direct effect on the kidneys, but as yet there is no proof. Uh, and I found that quite surprising because up to this point, renal consultants have always been very, nah, doesn't happen, doesn't happen, doesn't happen. But she's saying there has to be an action just from what she's seeing through the clinic and the number of trainers she's seen coming through with renal function problems. Um... Now, obviously, we know the roots of high blood pressure and diuretic use and that sort of thing, but she's, like myself, convinced that there is a direct action. And as we know, there's a few case studies and there's a few animal studies that would support that, but nothing that's really concrete that we could say, yes, it happens. But um, that is uh, the first time a medical professional has actually said to me that they believe the same, which I found quite interesting. Um, I found it um, quite surprising, actually, but she was very open-minded and, and was convinced herself that that was the case. On another note, from all intents and purposes, and though I don't have bloods to back this up, I'm in ketosis, and I'm dropping in ketosis constantly. Bad breath and a very sickly sweet taste in my mouth to the point where if I drink a cup of tea or a cup of coffee it feels like there's a shitload of sugar in there. Um, now I had a chat with Emil Goliath, Dr. Emil Goliath who works for Medichex, he's also an online coach and a nutritionist and a GP, or was a GP. Um, and he's doing a keto experiment at the moment so I thought we'd compare notes. So I rang him yesterday and we had a bit of a chat and I was explaining to him that on a non-training day, I'm probably 50 grams of carbs. On a training day, some days it's 120, other days it's as high as 150. But that's not throwing me out of keto. If these symptoms are anything to go by, I'm still in full-blown keto. Um, and he said it was interesting, but he'd found similar that... Now, he's running a higher fat, lower protein approach than me, but still high protein for what is a traditional keto diet. Now, he's doing his via blood testing, and he's saying he's had 120 and 140 grams of protein in one sitting, and it's not thrown him out of ketosis. Now, I read something the other day. I didn't really read it properly. Someone, someone shoved a study up. Uh, and keto is not a strong point for me. It wasn't what my intention was. My intention was just weight loss and this style of diet works. But uh, I'm quite surprised at how easily I've dropped into it. Um, and they were saying a study that showed that protein sources, predominantly aminal meats, generally don't go into gluconesis. So you don't burn protein for an energy source. So the weird thing is, I put carbs in around my workout window in the morning. If I'm not training, I don't eat many carbs. And the weird thing is that if I am keto, which I said it would appear I am, I'm not burning proteins either. 
and yet I'm on low fats. In fact, very low fats. The only fats I'm getting is incidental fats through my protein sources. So um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but weight's still coming down rapidly. I've still got decent energy levels during the day. Flat in the gym, which would be typical of me if I was on keto. Um, now, normally, the um, bad breath and that dissipates after a while as your body goes into burning ketones but what Emil thinks is happening with me one to do with my size is that when I put carbs in and they're just gone I go through them like there's no tomorrow to the point where it's not flowing me out of keto because of that and I'm slipping in and out sort of this all the time which is why the ketones coming out in my breath etc aren't going away but basically, he, he said, to put it in very simple terms, you're breathing out burnt fat. <laughs> or you're breathing out metabolized fat, which is why your breath's so bad and why you've got this sickly sweet taste in your mouth. So, I just thought that was rather interesting that I've gone into this state on a diet that would be regarded as not being capable of creating it, because it's low fat, it's well in excess of carbs on training days so that's at least four days a week I'm 120 to 150 grams of carbs the weight is dropping off at a, a ridiculously well increasing speed and I don't expect that to sustain forever and I do believe that some of that's going to be water based as well one with marine oil issues and obviously as body fat comes down less potential to hold water so it won't all be fat that's for sure um, but that this is just put me in this state the way it has so it would appear that there's a lot more leeway within that ketosis, ketosis boundary depending on how much muscle mass you carry I mean I'm still a fatty um, weigh-ins tomorrow so I will do a video tomorrow or Tuesday about what weight is uh, but I can feel it and I can start to see differences. So it's definitely heading in the right direction and heading rather rapidly. I've done a few interim ways this week just to see how water and temperature and travel, because I, I always hold a lot of water if I'm on the road for a day. And it's been quite remarkable. Uh, weight has varied as much as seven, eight pounds. Um, so I'd be interested to see where I weigh in tomorrow at my scheduled time, um, which is always the same time, same place, etc. Uh, and see what changes there are there. But I've noticed throughout the day, my weight change can be quite dramatic. Um, so literally half a stone, seven pounds, three kilos, whatever you work in. So we'll see. Um, but otherwise, very, very good. So I'm going to go back to my uh, non-keto, keto, weirdo diet. Uh, and uh, I will speak to you guys tomorrow.